Hey, what's up, everybody? Bush Hog here. Today's video, we're going to be doing the uh, political compass test, a test that is highly inaccurate, <clears throat> very stupid, and I don't even know what half the questions mean, but I haven't taken it in a while, so let's see where we land at, and let's go ahead and get fucking started. Uh, just a few propositions to start with concerning, no less, how you see the country and the world. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interest of transnational corporations. Uh, I guess I'd have to strongly agree with that one. <clears throat> Fuck corporations. I'd always support my country whether whether it was right or wrong. Uh, I'd say I agree with that. I mean, granted, how are you really going to know whether your country... I mean, you can think your country is right or wrong, but... I mean, even with like the war in Iraq and shit... You know, people say, uh, like, it's generally agreed upon that it wasn't a good thing or whatever, but, but, you know, they still had an argument for why it was a good thing. So, I mean, it's just opinion, but whatever. No one chooses their country or birth, so it's foolish. It's not about the country that you're born in. It's, you can still be proud of where you fucking come from. So that's stupid. Look at Albanians. That place is... Well, I'm not even going to say nothing bad about Albania. I don't need them motherfuckers coming after me. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. I don't actually agree with this. Um, like, completely? I think every race has qualities and, you know... It's, it's, it's pluses and minuses. Everybody knows... White people are good at coming up with systems. That's just the way it is. That's why we're pretty good at running countries. And if a liberal ever tells you, like, blah, 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 and then you ask them if they're a socialist, and they're like, yeah, I'm a socialist. <clears throat> and yes, okay, well, what socialist country do you like? They're going to say Norway, Sweden, Switzerland, like, shit like that. I don't know. What do those countries have in common besides hordes of immigrants? White people are running them. So, that's kind of like what we're good at. I'm not saying we're, we're necessarily good at being the boss. I'm just saying that we're, we're good at coming up with efficient ways to do things. And that can... I mean, like, you take Roosevelt or whoever the fuck came up with the interstates. Literally, every X amount of space has to be, like, a mile of straightaway or whatever. Just in case the country's at war so that they can use it as... Uh, a, possible emergency airstrip is and i'm not saying that he came up with that because he's white but i think somewhere in the culture it's just ingrained in us either way i'm just gonna say agree but not strongly agree the enemy of my enemy is my friend uh that one just depends sometimes i'll say agree i guess uh, military action def that defies international law is sometimes justified. What the fuck does that even mean? Bobo, what do you got now? Quit eating that towel, you dummy. <clears throat> um, military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. I guess. I don't fucking know. What am I, a lawyer? There is a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. I strongly fucking agree with that one. <clears throat> That's why you should get all of your news from me. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. That's pretty true, actually. Like, I can be white and walk into a rich white person's house and they look at me like I'm a fucking piece of trash. Bubba, quit! He's mad because I took his bones away so I could record the fucking video. Dummy. <clears throat> um, I actually strongly agree with that one. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. I agree with that. Because corporations cannot be trusted voluntarily to protect the environment, they require regulation. That is fucking very obvious, because if they do not do that at all if you don't regulate them. <clears throat> From each according to his ability, 
to each according his need is the fundamental. So I'm guessing this is saying the better you are, the more you're going to be needed. I don't know how you could disagree with that. The free of the market, the free of the people. I agree with that a little bit. I mean, you still have to keep like these big corporations in check. You can't fucking uh, just let it all run free or that's how you end up with Amazon who smaller stores literally can't even compete with them. The only way a small store can stay open is just by this rhetoric, you know, that we have to push now to, like, shop small business. Like, back in the day, you didn't have to do that because that's all there was, was small business. But whatever. And then people sit there and they're like, oh, Jeff Bezos deserves everything he has. It's like, he deserves to be a billionaire? I mean, I don't care if you're a billionaire, but, like, dude, you, how many fucking mom and pop's throats did you cut to get there? And they're just trying to make a half-decent li- living. And they're going to give you way better customer service than Amazon could ever dream of. <clears throat> um, it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled, branded consumer product. What kind of hippie bullshit is this? Don't buy it, then, dummy. Drink it out of the tap. It's a, it's fucking, we're not, oh my god. This is, that's just a stupid question. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be, oh my god, this is some hippie bullshit now. It's not, uh, alright, I'm not gonna get into it. It's regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by, pe- by people who simply manipulate money and contribute. Yeah, I mean, this is talking about like these stock market fox like these guys all they do is move money back and forth all day they don't really have a job their job is just to sit there and look at the market they're like gamblers basically is it okay to do that yeah i mean it is to an extent but the influence that the stock market has on everything else is also a little bit worrying but that's above my fucking pay grade as far as shit that i know about uh, I'm just like, you know, kind of have a grasp on it, but I'm going to just say agree. <clears throat> Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I don't know what the fuck that means. So I will just say agree. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. That See, that's the exact kind of fucking problem we have in this country is that's all the corporations care about is the fucking shareholders they don't care about anything else um the rich are too highly taxed i agree why do i agree because it's too easy for them to move their money around so that they just don't pay any taxes where what you have to do is make the taxes low enough to where you know the rich guy just says you know what i would rather just pay five percent tax than figure out how to move all my money to barbados which is not that fucking hard. They do. They literally all do it. Like Donald Trump, all those motherfuckers. Their money's not sitting in an American bank. Some of it is, but... Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care, yes. Yeah, they should, because that's how the fucking country works. Governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Strongly agree. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create. Requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. I'm going to say agree. Fuck monopolies, right? Right. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. I mean, yeah, I agree with that. I would say strongly agree, but there's a couple little, like, fucking... Like, I don't like abortion, but if she's gonna fucking die or something like that, or, like, the point zero three percent that get raped and end up pregnant or whatever, like, that type of shit, okay. Like, I'll give you a pass. Um... All authority should be questioned. Mm. I mean, you can question it, but... An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Mm. 
I disagree with that because I'm kind of a forgive and forget kind of guy. I don't know. I, I don't really go out for revenge. Although I did get, uh, did not get approved for my house loan today, and I'm thinking about doxing the guy and sicking my followers on him to troll him for the rest of his life. But that's just a thought. I'm not gonna actually do it. I don't. I don't think. We'll see. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any business theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Um. I mean, I disagree with that because nobody wants to go and see half of that shit. But, you know, you still need to have your museums and stuff. But then also you could argue that maybe if they weren't propped up by taxpayer money, they would do something to make it more interesting. But how fucking interesting is a fake dinosaur that you put together? Uh, schools should not make... What the fuck does compulsory mean? compulsory mandatory why wouldn't you just say mandatory school should not make classroom attendance mandatory i hate when they use negatives like this schools should make would be agree so if they shouldn't okay i'm gonna say you gotta go to school all people have their rights but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Um, I'm kind of neutral on this. I mean, some people like to keep to their own kind, and I don't. I don't really care. Like, I don't. I don't give a fuck. Like, if you're Chinese, you want to eat at Chinese restaurants. Fine. Black, black, white, white, Mexican, whatever. I don't care. Stick to your own people if you want to. I think that most people don't really care that much. Like, I like fucking soul food, so you're not going to get fucking good soul food from some fucking white hipster bitch. It doesn't happen. You got to go fucking, I want to see some nice black mama back there whipping it up. Because that's where the good food comes from. At least if you like me, I like soul food. Same thing with Mexican food. White people can make okay Mexican food, but depends on what kind of Mexican food you're looking for. Sometimes I like Mexican Mexican food. Sometimes I like white people Mexican food. If that doesn't make sense to you, it's because you're white. Mexicans know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. But, I'll agree, I guess. I don't personally care, but... Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. Strongly agree. Sometimes they're going fucking nuts. You don't gotta beat the shit out of them. Not what I'm agreeing with, but just one, at least if you're a man, one whack. That's it. Just one whack. And all you're trying to do is snap, like, you'll see it. They're going crazy, 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 whack. And then they just go, boom. And then, you know, now they, you have their attention again. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, I mean, of course. <clears throat> Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that. I really don't like pot or potheads, but I mean, I don't fucking care. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Strongly agree. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to re reproduce. Um, so that's just eugenics. I mean, I agree with that slightly. The most important thing for children to learn is to accept discipline. That's a pretty big one. Sometimes you gotta learn to shut your fucking mouth and do what you gotta do. I was talking to somebody about that today. Is you know, a lot of a lot of kids just they don't know when to fucking shut up. There are no savage and civilized people. Only div different cultures. That is so fucking stupid, dude. It is not a culture for somebody, to, like a missionary, to go to some random place in the Amazon and get fucking speared immediately. That is not a culture. These people are uncivilized. Is that their fault? You know, I don't know. Yes, no, maybe, who knows. But that's not the point. They're still uncivilized. Civilized people, like you can go to Africa today, and most places, you're going to be like somewhat reasonably safe i mean you might be you're at least going to get off the plane 
you know, fucking Dave Chappelle lived in Africa. I don't know where, but I know he went to Africa for like 10 fucking years and he was fine. So, and he doesn't speak any African language. He probably went to South Africa, but those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's support. Strongly agree. I hate homeless people. Mostly because they litter. That's my main thing. Number one, they make a fucking mess. They litter, throw needles everywhere, fucking the same streets my kids, you know, my, they don't, but they would walk on if they didn't have homeless people all over them. And number two, they're drug addicts. When you're troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. Yeah, I agree with that. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. I disagree. Depends on where they're coming from, how close they are to the culture already. They say that uh, some of the people that came from like different islands and went to England like just snapped right into it because they love football. And by football, I mean soccer. But like just that, they just kind of slinked right in. I don't know how true that is, but what's good for the most successful corporations is always ultimately good that's not how is that true no broadcasting institution however independent its contact should receive public funding i mean that's kind of stupid it's not like they cost that much jesus how long is this fucking test our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. yeah they are <laughs> A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all arguments. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, there's now there is downsides. There's downsides, but that's still true. <laughs> They're gonna go whatever way they want to go. Um, let me turn this mic down a little bit more. Um, although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers. That's not true because they fucking surveil everybody, no matter what. Death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly agree. I would just say, hey, petty crimes. Jaywalking. <laughs> you get the rope. Um, in a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. I mean, that's true. You got to have somebody has got to call the fucking shots. Anytime you got too many, you got too many fucking chiefs and not enough Indians. That's where the phrase comes from. Nothing gets done. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art. I strongly agree. That shit is garbage. It's just another money scam to avoid taxes. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. I uh, disagree with that. It is a waste of time to try and rehabilitate some criminals, obviously. Um... The business person and manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. Yes. Ugh. Mothers may have careers, but the first is yes. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of... And we already know this is true. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is kind of true. You know, some of my younger, younger friends might not like that. But like, as you get older, you have kids and stuff, you got to learn how to work with what you got. Um, or you storm the Capitol building, but I wasn't there. I have to go to work. You cannot be moral without being religious. You can be somewhat moral, but not... I don't know. Charity is better than social security as a means of helping. The, hmm, I don't know about that one. Some people are naturally unlucky. How? What the fuck does that even mean? How is that a question? I need to take a Zyrtec. I'm fucked up right now. That's just allergy medicine for those of you who don't know. Um... Naturally unlucky. I guess. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. For me, yes. You need to learn about Jesus because he loves you and he died for you. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. Uh, we'll just say agree on that one. I agree. It's, 
A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be extended from the possibility of child adoption. Well, it says a stable, loving relationship so we can, you know, assume that everything's going to be fine based on that. The only odd factor is that they're gay. So, I don't know. Kid's probably going to be a little weird, but... Like, whatever, I guess. Pornography depicting should be legal. Strongly, fuck porn. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Uh, no one can feel naturally homosexual. What does that mean? Born gay? I mean, I don't think people are necessary. Well, I don't know. I've seen some... I, like, I have cousins... And I've known those motherfuckers since they were like five, and I knew good and well that the one was was fruity. That boy's had sugar in his tank his whole life, and he is queer as a three dollar bill now. So, I guess you can be born gay or something, or maybe it happens. That, I don't know. Either way, no one can feel naturally homosexual. I'm just gonna disagree with that because I think people obviously can naturally feel homosexual. You want to fucking suck a dick. You're naturally feeling like sucking a dick. These days, openness about sex has gone too far, as I just talk about fucking sucking dick. Uh, I agree, though. Let's see where I stand. What am I, a commie? We can show, for example... Where am I? Oh, God. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a communist, everybody. So, who is that? Not really even a communist. Hmm. That's weird. Literally, every time I've ever taken this test, I've been, like, over here. And then, like, there was one time I was, like, here the last time I took it. That probably just has to do because I said that gay people can naturally want to suck a dick or whatever. But yeah, I mean, the fucking test isn't that, like, accurate or whatever. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> the wicked bitch. Hmm. I guess this is more like Nazbol gang. But, whatever. Guess it is what it is. <sighs> Hope this is somewhat entertaining <laughs> i'll get made fun of on instagram i'm sure cheers